Hey everyone, I know these fuel injected beauties are taking over, but there's a lot of fun bikes out there that still have carburetors, and they're really not that hard to tune. They all pretty much have the same tuning aspects. How much compression, how much air you're getting in, how much air you're getting out, how efficiently. Every bike's different. Modifications, maintenance on the engine, if it's an original motor, modified. So it's really, really good to know if you ride a motorcycle, how to just dial it in. It's really not too bad. So this bike right here just, just runs so well. I thought I'd go for a little rip. I'm going to ride on the street. So give me a, give me a break. It's a, not really a, a street bike, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. So with this guy, main thing is, is the fuel air screw, the gold. Let's see if I can zoom on there. Yep. So you got like a one through four usually on most of these adjustable fuel air screws. And what I've noticed is you really want to have it in as, in as far as possible and then just turn it out just a tad. So you want to have a low idle that comes down real quick and stays down. And then just turn the idle up just a tad so you don't have any stalling in the air, or whatever the case may be. So, and remember one thing too, your fuel air screw is a lot more than just your idle. And that's where people kind of mess up. They think, okay, well, it idles well, so we'll just keep it there. That's why it's good to turn it in as much as you can and then just out just a little bit. Now, this is just my personal opinion. You know, there's tons of ways to, uh, to tune these carburetors the way you want them. And that's, that's what's cool. You know, there's a lot of factors. Um, so you got mid-range, right? And it kind of has like a, a sputter or like kind of a, a hard like doll point or it's just kind of like da 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 That means that your needle might be too high. So you want to drop it one or two if it's really bad. But before you tune, you want to make sure the engine's at operating temperature, if not hotter. Because when you really want this thing to perform is when you're actually going to be riding it at its full potential or the whatever level you're going to be riding at, that's where you want to tune it. So go ride it around, get it up to operating temperature or race temperature and then tune it at that state. If you tune it at a cold, it's gonna run best at cold. This is a little trick. When it's hot, like this bike is, give it quarter throttle. So this thing stays nice and low. back down after you rev it really hard that's what you want no like surging they call it where it goes wah and that's your fuel or screw too far out or it could be the size of the pilot now we run larger pilot jets because it also affects your bottom end throttle response so if you add a bigger pilot jet you can actually help with the bottom end to eliminate bog and other issues that you could have from idle all the way to quarter of your RPM range. So almost up to 3000 RPMs. So it is an important uh, sector. A lot of people ride in that area majority of the time. So to get your fuel air screw dialed is, is a big a big deal. There's also things like the TPS you can, you can adjust and advance it a little bit, help your motor. Um, be advanced for the type of ride you're doing if you're really hard on the bike you're not worried about fuel mileage you want you know more uh just response and power it's okay to turn that um a little advanced to turn it um uh, clockwise we have ours maxed because the dr needs all the drz i should say not the dr 650 but it, it needs it needs some, some some help with the power factor you know she's uh 80 pounds heavier than your normal motocross bike so um yeah, let's go rip it. See how she runs.
I miss this bike. This thing runs good. All right, so here's, here's a little tip on this bike right now. Recommended size is a 45 for most. Now, airbox cover's on. So is this. Now, everything underneath is very exposed. As much airflow as we can get in there. Nice free-flowing exhaust. We are at sea level. Brand new motor, so there's a lot of good factors that are helping this engine. It's only got 800 miles on it. But the main thing is, we got the fuel air screw pretty much all the way in, right? Just about a half, three quarter turn out, maybe. And we've got a 55 Pilot. Now most people are cringing. Oh my gosh, that's too rich, yada yada. And then we shoot flames out the back. Like, oh, it's too lean. So just be careful with the pinions. You know, there's a lot of good magazines out there that kick ass and then there's Forum junkies and Facebook professionals that jetted one carburetor and they think that they're God. So, you know, that's why I made this video. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know so I can make better videos and uh, help you guys learn and we'll learn together. Thanks for your time.